Risk, there's so much going on in the news. Uh, <clears throat> William Shatner went to space today. He is okay. now officially the oldest man to go into space at 90, I believe, 90 years old. Um, oh, that's wild. Where are yeah. I don't know if you guys saw the the footage because he went into space like literally this morning just a few hours ago and he was very emotional when he got back from space and they didn't do like a full circle they just literally like went up this is just like gonna be a celebrity amusement park ride i feel like that's what yeah. i see for this let's go you up know. see everything and then come down yeah this the bezos penis ship they're just gonna go up see, see the oh. see the flat earth and then come back down i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they have to sign an NDA about like, uh, like, look, if the, if it looks a little flat to you up there, you know, just keep it to yourself. So wild. We'll see. So here is William Shatner coming back from space. Very emotional. What's that little ball thing behind him? This is that's the head of the penis ship right there. Why isn't it on the penis ship? So how it works, Riss, is the. You know, you know how it looks. Like we've all seen like the Bezos penis ship, Blue Origin, right? There's the base, there's the shaft, and then the head. So it okay. goes up, and then when it gets into like enough space, the shaft part uh, removes Attaches. itself, and then like Ooh. sort of drones drones back to the ground. It like falls in a controlled way, whilst the head, uh, I guess, like goes up, and then it comes down, and then it parachutes down. Just the head. Everybody's in the head. William Shatner, Bezos wasn't in this one. And then like, I don't know, three of the top Amazon customers, I guess, got to go. I don't know how they chose these people. That's so wild. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know why it separates, but hey. I guess it, it separates because I don't know. I guess I'm sure they have space people on the case here. They figured that's the easiest way because it's not doing like an orbit. It's not like going to another planet or anything. They're just literally going up, going into space. Okay. Okay. And then they come back down because I guess the the feeling is is mostly like in the takeoff and the coming back down. I guess mm -hmm. once you're in space, it's like okay, you pretty much get the gist of it. Okay, I'm gonna play a little bit of this. Who's the girl? I feel like it's his piece. Really? She's so much younger. Look She's probably just waiting for him to you know pass on. <laughs> By the way, Bezos was not on this space endeavor. He just, he just showed up. Dress up. He showed up in this outfit. I'm convinced he sleeps in this. I'm convinced these are his pajamas. He wears these 24-7. Yeah, it's out of control. I guess I can get it. And now you're staring at the black. That's the thing. The covering of blue is the sheet, this blanket, this, com this comforter of blue that we have around us. We think, oh, that's blue sky. And then suddenly you shoot through it all of a sudden. And so you whip off the sheet off you when you were asleep. And you're looking into blackness, into black ugliness. And you look down and take the blue down there, and the black up there, and it's, it's just, there is mother of earth and comfort. And is, is there death? I don't they know. want us to like be death? emotional death? for like live through his experience, but like if we ain't invited, I'm not gonna feel any type of way about it. <laughs> he starts crying. Look at this. And Bezos is literally going like bleep bloop. I am processing emotions coming from another human being. <laughs> And then at one point he takes off his sunglasses and like gives him a hug. Wait, is that girl drinking champagne in the background? Oh, they are. This is like uh, a Super Bowl esque. Yeah, they're spraying they champagne on each bottle. other. Yeah, and like the there was a little bit of it when they're spraying it on each other, and Shatner like moves away because I don't think he wanted to get his spacesuit all sticky. Damn. Oh, it's one thing to say, oh, the sky and the thing, and then the gradual. thing. So this is how I would explain space. But what isn't true, uh, what is unknown, colors. I'll tell you to do it, is, is this pillow, there's this soft blue. Look at the beauty of that color. And it's so thin. He's talking about the oxygen it's layer. It's, well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think of it. Will you know? Is it a mile? Too no, how thick is it? I mean, Someone's going to have fun uh, <laughs> but you're going cutting and editing that. How thick is it? So you're through 50 miles 
uh, whatever the matter. I want to get to the part where he cries. Yeah, you know, it's she down there is doing what is what isn't Here something. Yeah. I mean, Wait. and what you see down there is light, and that's the difference. This will like, like this. You look at this. Have done something. I mean. Whatever those other guys are doing, but it's what is those other space dicks. Every time I see videos of Bezos, he's like getting real close with other dudes, like his brother. Wow, kissing his brother. He's crying now. I'm so look at this. Okay, this is gonna do either one of two things. They're gonna care more about the planet or realize that we're all just little bit ants and they're gonna care less. I think the purpose of it's interesting because Frank had an interesting theory. Like, what if Shatner is like terminally ill and this is on his bucket list? This is his make a wish. That could be one thing. Or they're like, oh, he's a celebrity known for space stuff. Let's put him into space and we can try to attract more rich people and or celebrities to go into space yeah. to do this uh, amusement park ride. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Let's see if he says anything else interesting. Sure. Sure. I like that they're testing. Well, they probably already tested it out with non billionaires. I'll never recover. But... From this. I'll that never recover. Can... That's pretty cool. Maintain, like he feels like he was molested by space. It's so. Yeah. <sighs> so much larger than, than me and life. And it hasn't got anything to do with the little green planet or he was explaining before like you go up it's a, it's black it's like it's like such a short amount of time and space from like blue to black and and i don't know if you caught it on this snippet here but he talks about like looking down at the earth and it's like it's glowing it's like full of light and uh i think that's cool because i think the earth is very special and that is being hidden from the masses and I think how special human beings are is hidden from the masses. Um, yeah, for real. This is Definitely. this is fascinating. Yeah, I wonder if like I, I just like I'm so curious. Like I'm sure they had to test you know everyone who's going to go up their heart, and they have to do all these simulations, and yeah. you know like were they up and back? Like they're wearing all these suits that they can like pee and poop into, but like I feel like they were just up and down. Like they probably were like, well, I don't have I don't have to pee, but I want to pee because this is a I can pee in the spacesuit, and so like, it went up and came down all within the past couple hours. They went up and came down. What, Frank? It was like a maybe they were up there an hour or less. Playing solitaire, it was it was quick. quick. Took a little lunch break mm -hmm. ride. Half hour. A half hour. So there's no way you need to go to the bathroom in a half hour. Yet they're all wearing these suits that they can probably do a number one, two, and three in. If it were me, I'd be like, look, I paid. I paid for this. I'm taking a shit in this suit. Like, sorry. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm not really good. I can't really, like, poop at will. Yeah, I'd probably be all nervous, and I wouldn't be able to. Yeah, that's what I want to know, too. Like, did anyone throw up? Like, what does it feel like? Yeah, that's well, cool. I'm he, sure we'll heal. I'm sure he'll be got, talking like, about this snacks, all week. Like an airplane? Like a little airplane snack? Yeah, do you think they have astronaut ice cream? Because I always have that. Yeah. Every time I go to a museum, I have to have it, even though I'm not a child. But it's good. I don't know. I like how it tastes. Yeah, or like some drinks. It reminds me of like the first special little treat I had as a kid was like yeah. astronaut ice cream. I thought that was the fanciest possible thing you could eat. Do you think they have like like a little attendance in there or it's just like them? Attendance? Yeah, you wonder if it's like just the people, just the Amazon Prime members shatner yeah. and like is there a flight attendant up there is there there's probably there's got to be like a crew member you know like of all days for them to go up when they're in the southern california there's these wildfires they're like apparently raging out of control and the smoke is so excessive they have to like shut off people's gas lines and stuff to like you know prevent more wildfires i wonder if that like construed their view well, they were supposed to take off Tuesday, but due to the winds, they pushed it off to today, yeah. Wednesday. And they took off from, like, western Texas. Um, so I wonder if they mm -hmm. could see that or if it's going just so fast that you can't really see anything until you're, like, above the <laughs> flat earth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny. It's fun to joke about that. I don't know if it's true. Matthew Hammond for five. I hope Alon sends the entire Next Generation cast up in one of his rockets. I want a billionaire peeing contest. Yeah, I wonder if this is going to start just like a billionaire space war, space competition.
Yeah. Um, well, you don't want to go to space. It seems like you're not as jazzed about this risk. Like you're not impressed. Well, they're so much further advanced than what they're saying. Yes. So for me, it's yeah. like oh, just a little chauffeur, you know. This I is mean, like the Uber of space travel. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like Bezos put that together with Amazon Prime boxes. Like, the, the we're not seeing the full, uh, like, capabilities of uh, whatever. The fake right. space program. <laughs> right, like, for the past... For the past like 50 years, we've just been like collecting rocks and sediment on like Mars and the moon and stuff. So like, but there's like billions of dollars that we're giving to them for fun. It's like, just doesn't, nothing adds up and it's yeah. so obvious. And you can like, never take it for awesome. face value. You have to go like, what is really going on here? Okay, they're right. trying to normalize space travel. Why? And they're obviously pitching this in a way to try to have it appeal to the very rich and privileged, right? Because William Shatner comes, oh, I can't explain what this felt like. Who wants to feel that, right? The people who have done everything, been everywhere, bought everything. Yeah. It's like, what do you get for the person who has everything? A ride in Blue Origin. That I'm gonna. I feel like I should trademark that because that's. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, if you were seeing uh, like advertising like that. But, but then, so like after you do that once, what's next? You know, and like there's people like Bezos. They've already done it, so you know that they've already moved on to the next. But they're just not talking about that. Hmm. Like he's not settle settling with this. And just, what are we supposed to just think that he's planning on this being like the end point for his life? Are you of the mind that uh, there are plans for the elite to like leave Earth? Like there is a known uh, like space station or like known life on like Mars or somewhere else. And people are just planning to uh, like get the hell out before these supposed resources run out. I don't really feel that way. Um, I don't know if they're trying to like get out and and like leave permanently but like it's from my understanding and from my research they they have already started colonies of life on other planets and stuff but Ooh. that's just what i you know believe but yeah everyone. angie thinks the billionaire elites have underground bunkers yeah it's like maybe they're trying to distract us with outer space when really we should be looking at hollow earth stuff we should be looking at the no one's talking about the tunnels no one's talking about what's inside the core <laughs>